All right, guys and girls, so now we gotta talk about one more logical operator that you could use inside the where clause in order to filter your data, and that is the between. Between is a logical operator that allows you to select only the rows that falls within a specific range. And in order to work with between in SQL, you need to define like boundaries, two boundaries, two values that specify the range. So here we need to define in between the min value and the max value. It could be anything like text, number, and date. So here in SQL, any value between those two boundaries, they are going to be considered as true. And the values or the rows that are outside those boundaries going to be considered as false. And one more very important information is that those boundaries, the min value and the max value, are included in the condition. So it's really, I see in the projects, a lot of people that forget about it or to like ask again, uh, are those boundaries in the condition or not? So it's really confused a lot. Don't forget those values are included in the condition. So now in order to understand that, we're going to have some task and we're going to try to solve it with SQL. All right, so now we have the following tasks. Find all customers whose score falls within the range of 100 and 500. So let's try to solve that with SQL. So as usual, select star. There is no specifications about the columns. Our table is customers. And now we need to filter the data. So we're going to use where. And here, the column that we need to use is score because it says score should be between 100 and 500. So we're going to write down score. And now the syntax for between, you need to write the keyword between. And here now we need to specify the minimal value. So the min value, the first boundary, it is the 100. And then we're going to use the operator and, and then the max value. And that's it. So for the between, you need to write down the column name, between, min value, and max value. So that's it. Let's now try to execute the query and see the results. As you can see, those two customers have the scores that is between 100 and 500. Okay, so now let's see what the database does once we executed the query with the between operator. So now, as usual, select star from customers. That means in the results, we need all the columns. And we have where, so that means the database should filter the results. And we have the condition between 100 and 500. So let's go through all the customers. So the first one, we have the score 350. It is between this range. So between 100 and 500, so we have the first true, and we will see it in the results. So the next one, it is 900, so it is like outside of the max boundary that makes it as a false. The same goes for George, we have 750, it is as well outside of the 500, so it's outside of the boundaries, not between those two values, we have the false. And now it is interesting, we have the 500. So the 500, it is not within the range, it is exactly the boundary. And with that in between, it's gonna consider it as true, so we have it as true. And the last one, we have null, so it is unknown. So it will not return it. So here, that's why, in the result, we saw two customers, Maria and Martin, because they fall in within the range between 100 and 500. And Martin is exactly the max boundary. That's why it is considered as we be true. Okay, guys, so there is another way how to solve such a tasks without using between. And instead of that, we can use two conditions and connect them with the AND operator. So I'm going to show you that. Select star from customers like usual and now we're gonna write the where conditions so first the score should be greater and equal than 100 so we're gonna use the operator greater equal to 100 and and then we're gonna write the second part of the second boundary the score should be smaller and equal to 500 so we're gonna use this operator so less 
and equal to 500. So with that, we redefine the between function. And if I run this, so I'm going to remove this part over here and execute it, we will get exactly the same result because we just redefine it in another way. Some developers like me tend not to use between and instead of that, we use such conditions because for me, it's more easier to read what the query is doing instead of using between because I need to remember when I use between that, for example, the boundaries are included and uh, if you forget that, you need to search about that. So it's really easier just to read exactly what the query is doing. So I tend to avoid between I use the two conditions with and. And so one more like advantage about that, you can control it better. So for example, I could use for the boundary with the max value only less without the equal so you could define it more flexible than the between all right so that was it for the operator between next we're gonna learn about the in operator and in the video description you will find a link to free sql materials like the database and the data of this tutorial the sql sheet sheet and as well all the presentations thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial bye